my gosh. <laughs>「my name is Rosalie and welcome back to my channel back to chubby today's just another quick weigh-in um, I wish there was more to the video but I'm having one of those days where I just don't really feel like I have a lot to say so let's just do the weigh-in first for the people who just are interested in the numbers and then we'll go from there hello it's ready Three hundred and seventy-three point six pounds. Okay, so I lost point two pounds, <laughs> which is fine, uh, not great, but it's not a gain. Like I've been trying to think through what the reason might be because the meal plan was only around fifteen hundred calories per day, um, but there were three out of the past five days where I didn't eat all of the food. So I've been thinking that maybe. Um, and as several people have suggested, I'm not eating enough calories. Um, so I think next week my plan mostly is to try and make sure I actually eat everything um, that I have planned out. Make sure I measure everything carefully and just really monitor what's happening. It might just be water retention, but I doubt that's it because I've been having coconut water every day. Um, so I don't know. There could be an explanation or it could just be one of those days. Who knows? Um, I hope that things continue to go down because I am <laughs> in the diet vet. Which, by the way, there is still time to join. If you're interested in it, I'll put a link down in the description box below. Josh, on the other hand, went down, so that's pretty good. Um, once we went on keto, he finally broke that plateau and got under his well, not his goal weight, but his short-term goal weight of 300 pounds. And then once we went off of keto, he sort of stalled again and then gained two pounds back. And now he's gone back down again. So now I want to say he's at 394, I want to say. So that's pretty awesome. As you guys know, we're eating all the same things. So I don't know. I don't know what to say. It's just one of those weeks I'm going to go with for now. This coming up week, I'm going to get back to basics as I talked about in my last video and do what was working for me. And one of the things I'm thinking about doing is going back to my other setup where I was like in front of the window and you could see the room behind me in some of my earlier videos. <laughs> and if I'm honest, part of the reason I want to do that is because it forced me to keep this room clean <laughs> instead of just this spot behind me in the room. Um, but let me know what you guys think like do you like this setup or did you like it better the other way um the main reason i started filming the other way is because i was sitting in front of a window and i didn't have a light so i had to sit in front of that window during the only time of day that the sun came through the right way <laughs> um, but then for christmas my parents got me a ring light so i've been able to film wherever uh, but this has just been a really easy spot to keep clean <laughs> Oh my gosh. I've also mentioned before that um, sometimes I get depressed and when my house isn't clean then I feel worse. And sometimes having my house not be clean makes me feel depressed and then I don't want to clean the house because I feel bad. I feel like I can't get anything done. And then uh, the house gets worse and then I feel worse. But if I make myself clean this room, there's at least one room clean <laughs> in my house. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this setup versus that setup. I'm still going to clean this room. In fact, after I get done with this video, that's what I plan on doing. But I don't know. It's just another way to hold myself accountable. Sometimes I get kind of panicky, like if people see my house messy. Um, like, that's a conversation for another time. The point is, I only lost 0 0.2 pounds this week, but a loss is still a loss. 
nothing's really changed from last week if this is your first time here and surprisingly I get this question a lot have I lost very much weight since I started uh, well this means that I've lost 60 point something pounds in about five months um, and I feel like it should be more and the only reason I say that is because because I mean 60 pounds is great 60 pounds is 60 pounds I don't have anymore and then I never want again but I was doing so steady there for a while until we changed things up that if I had continued steadily then I would be several pounds lower than I am right now so it's only several pounds I think I'm just dwelling on things a little bit today it's fine it'll be fine I also feel like I should make a montage video of myself in all my past videos going, it's fine, it'll be fine. <laughs> it's like my motto, it's fine, it'll be fine. So anyway, since I started at 435, I'm down a little over 60 pounds, not quite to my short term, short -term goal, uh, which is 366, will put, which will have put me at 25% of the way to my goal of losing 277 pounds. So, so far I've lost around 215 pounds. Oh my gosh, no, I still have two. <laughs> I still have 215 left to lose. <laughs> Wishful thinking, okay. My face is all red now. <laughs> okay, so obviously this video is uh, not quite following the flow I hoped it would. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, so my face is bright right now because I also realized that I was sending texts for one person to another person. <laughs> and they had to call and let me know about it, so. I mean, nothing like horrible and nothing bad about anybody. I guess my brain started the weekend before I did. So, again, this is a good place to wrap up the video. Um, I hope you guys Follow along with me if you want to see my meal planning, which is going to start up again soon, or if you want to see me continue to weigh in and hopefully continue to go down next week. And I hope wherever you are, you are safe and warm and happy and healthy. And remember to just try the best you can, and I will see you next week. Bye.